and then got a power on. So as you can see, oh, okay. wheeling around the house. Oh wow, so there you go. space, so uh -huh. obviously, you know, if, if you don't have, trying to get through doors, if they're not the correct width, etc. Yeah. And then, if you just turn it towards, well, in fact, I can take it with me, I don't. <laughs> so I'm going now into the kitchen. Okay. And then, if I just turn to the left, that's my wet room. So you can see the floor okay. like that. Mm -hmm. And the floor slopes, so water doesn't slope. Okay. So you see, I've, I've got a loo with a raised toilet seat. Mm -hmm. I've got a handrail. Okay. And then there's, um, you know, like a stall there. Mm -hmm. And there's the shower. So basically, I can transform my wheelchair onto the shower, okay. etc. And then in the kitchen, all this really was developed myself. So there's enough space, you see, to... You know, when I prepare food, mm -hmm. I've got a, a kettle that does one cup. Because okay. again, you've got to think in a, in a kitchen, there's hazards everywhere. Knives, if I dropped a knife on me, I wouldn't feel it. Oh, goodness. But, you know, it still cut me. That one cup, if you pick um, your hands a week, and you pick up um, you know, a kettle, and of course it's boiling water, you just put it on your legs, mm. you'll be in big trouble. And an oven, I've got to very rarely use the oven because mm. you've got to pull things out and you're on a wheelchair. So you've yeah. only got one hand to pull your stuff out. Oh, really? So there's, there's dangers everywhere. Mm. And, um, so when you when you prepare food and you, you move it about, and of course, I have to move food, hold it and steer my wheelchair like I'm doing now. So logistically, it's hard to work out. Yeah. And this is what tires you up, all this. And then I'll do it very quickly as I'm going towards the um, the hall. I forgot I did that in one. That's good through that door. <laughs> <laughs> so then, as you can see, there's the old pin set I got <laughs> on my stair lift. Oh wow! So obviously they, that should be there normally. Mm. But to, to get that upstairs, you see. What I could do is send it up on the wheelchair. Mm. This is how I get the shopping, um, me washing down. I can put it on the wheelchair, on the lift, you see. Oh, okay. Carry stuff. So you think of everything. Oh. And then I'll just turn around quickly. I'll let that down because it'll be. That's my top step. I can't get a wheelchair upstairs because there's not enough room. So I use mm. hand grab rails everywhere. Oh, okay. And, the and, knees. and then the front room here, the, if you can, oh, hang on, let me just um, let's get, get it into perspective. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> As you come in, oh, no, my hands everywhere. As you come in the front door, normally the the door to the front room would be the other end. Mm -hmm. But I won't be able to get a, a scooter in. So see the door there? Yeah. As you go in. And that's a wider door than normal. So what I do, see that scooter there? I use that to get outside just to my garage out the house. Oh, wow, okay. So I transform my wheelchair onto that scooter, uh -huh. then to the garage, then into my car and onto another wheelchair. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a, a lot of drain on my resources. Yeah. Financial challenge. And then sometimes, and again, silly, but it's not silly, but to help me with, with housework, got, you see that robot vacuum cleaner? Oh, wow, that's so awesome. So I can leave that on, and at least that gets the, the, clean, the floors clean. Mm. So it's everything like this, technology, yeah. I've really thought out.